You, you, no. Thanks. You, you, you can't possibly mean it. Thank you very much. That's, that's too kind. I thank you so much. Back at you. Have a seat, please. Thank you so much. Uh, Oh, you just don't want that to stop when that happens. It's just, it's just happy. I just, it's, isn't it just happy in here? I just really like being here. It's just... Let's all live together here. Let's move in here. All right? That'd be fun. I don't want to... I'm having more uh, of my backyard drama going on. Uh, if you've been following along, there's always something going on at my house, and now the backyard thing has expanded into a whole, uh, well, OK, so I wake up this morning on my own uh, because the, the cats usually wake me up uh, because they're starving because it's been, you know, four hours since they've eaten. <laughs> and so there's the meowing and they're adorable and cute and then it, it goes to biting. That's a cute bite, but it's like the little adorable bite to wake me up. So I get up and I usually go feed the cats, but no cats this morning, which I knew was something was wrong. So I go downstairs and both cats are looking outside and I knew something must have been out there. And I look, and there's another cat, like an outside cat, because my cats don't go out, outside cat looking in. And they, I don't know how long they had had that <laughs> staring thing. Like, a, it's a cat standoff. And they were looking at each other. Like, a, it was like West Side Story all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> they were snapping. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> You're from the wrong side of the tracks, or whatever. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but it was like an indoor outdoor kind of a, a feud and then and then my cats because i shooed the cat off and it went running then my cats it was like a horror movie they were running from window to window and door to door <laughs> looking to see where the other cat was and one of my cats isn't real smart i've said it before he's just uh you know how some cats are he's he's just stupid and um <laughs> sweet as can be but not smart and so the other one Subtle, Subtle's the king of the house. And, and he's, you know, remove thee from thy land, for with and anon. Um, and uh, I'm sure of it. And uh, so he, then, and, and it's the cat that was out there um, this morning was a black cat, kind of a furry black cat. There's also been another kind of orange cat that I've seen. But they, they come around and they, they're, they, one time upstairs, they get on the roof and I see them looking in the window like that, like trying to peer in. They didn't do that, but if uh, <laughs> I did that, and it was just like there. Uh, but can you imagine? I just went like that, and there's a cat right there, and it took off. But I, it's like case in the joint. That like I don't. It was it, like they're cat burglars, and so they're um, they're going around. And I'm thinking, I wonder if the, it, it, you know how we are. The grass is always greener. We look at someone else's situation and think, oh, they have it better. And and I don't know if they're looking at my cats, going, oh, they're so lucky because they're inside and they get fed and affection and everything. Um, but my cats are probably looking at them going, oh, they have outside and they can go wherever they want. And, um, but they don't know how good they have it. They probably, I think that they're strays. I don't think they're anyone's cats. That's, which also breaks my heart because I want to feed them if they're strays, but then I'm going to attract them to the house more. And, but I, I, I can't tell if there's a collar and I'm trying to call them and they won't come to me. That's why I think they're strays because they usually, uh, someone's pet would come to you and I've tried every name, I, you know, <laughs> Darcy, Simone, Ronald, and uh, <laughs> none of those they responded to. And, um, and then I've tried the universal kitty, 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 because usually, and I don't know how they know that they're kitties. That to me is really weird. Because <laughs> you can't do that with anything else. Like, here, worm, and uh, <laughs> they won't come. Um, but the other cats, they're outside, and I know they're hungry, and I feel bad for them, but I can't, they're, they're going, I have koi ponds, I have fish ponds around, and there's one area that they are hanging out where my koi fish are, and I, I'm just, you know, I feel bad, because I know they're there for the fish, because they show up with a little uh, container of tartar sauce, and, uh, <laughs> um, and like a bib with a koi on the front, like a, like a koi bib, and, um, and then a bottle of white wine, which goes with fish, <laughs> like a, a nice Pinot Grigio, a dry kind of a Pinot. Um, and then the other, the other one shows up with a fishing rod and a six pack, and they're just waiting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, so now I have cats in my yard. There's a cool cat right there. There's Tony.
Patty, you clap for me. I, I haven't noticed before. That, thank you very much. That that is getting more and more elaborate. That car wash song. <laughs> That's gonna. I'm gonna put on. A, I'm gonna go to New York and put on a, a Broadway musical car wash. Good. Act it all out. <laughs> it's all about washing cars. The entire Broadway musical. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you, Tony? Hey, um, well, I actually got woken up as, well, you, I got woken up by a woodpecker. You did? Yes. There's a woodpecker near my house. There's a couple of trees in my garden, and these woodpeckers um, are, are sort of pecking away. And they were first on the electric pole outside my house, and now they've moved to the garden. And this one just keeps going grrrr, or whatever the noise is. And no, I, that's right. Yeah, and I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a drill. Yes. And all these birds have all come to my garden for some strange reason because they're plowing the place to make put a lawn in. Who's plowing it? The birds? No, the gardener. The gardener's <laughs> plowing it so that the dirt is exposed. So, uh, so the dirt is exposed. So, so they're, they're looking for worms. I don't know what they're doing there, but it sounds, sounds like a convention at my house. Uh-huh. And the, the, the woodpecker wakes me up every morning. Yeah, can't, I always think of the, the woodpecker, because their head goes, you think they would have a headache a lot? Because <laughs> that must really hurt to do that. Yeah, and, and it's loud. It's really loud. Yes, it is loud. And I, 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 I mean, they're pecking, their beak against a really hard surface like that. I, wood. It, yeah. it, it's wood. It's a pecker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a fourth grade science teacher wouldn't tell you. <laughs> but yeah, so so it's and it's and it, what it's looking for insects. I thought they borrowed those holes to live in to be honest with you. That's what I saw in cartoons. Is I, that right? <laughs> I mean, well, well that's where we all get our information from cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Woody Woodpecker. Yeah. The one that goes uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> How, how's it go? <laughs> no. So you're fine of, with cartoon birds. They don't scare you. <laughs> as long as they're right. as far away from me as possible, yeah. I'm fine. All right. Well, let's find out. Somebody will let us know if the woodpeckers peck for food or to make a little home. Okay. And they hollow out. Somebody will tell us, I'm sure. All right. Now, you all know that, that I am, um, well, I'm a people person. I've traveled around a lot. I've met a, a lot of people. I've been around the block a few times. I know people, and I know what they want. And uh, what I find people want is uh, really big, fat animals. And um, in order to please the people, I now give you big fan animals. You are so beautiful. <laughs> All right, Sarah Schuler from uh, Mamoranek, New York, right? Mamoranek? Uh, Mamaronek, New York. Uh, Calvin is on the left and weighs 27 pounds, and it's not to be confused with the baby on the right, Benjamin, who weighs 13 pounds. <laughs> All right, so this is Calvin, who weighs 27 pounds, <laughs> and Benjamin, who weighs 13 pounds. That's adorable, that's very adorable. Now, I don't know a lot about babies, but when does this fall out? <laughs> I thought that came off about a week after birth. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Carrie Zobel from Marysville, Michigan. And this is pork chop. He's 29 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> that cat. <laughs> that cat looks like it hasn't slept. It looks like it has to keep its eyes open. <laughs> Because if it closes its eyes, somebody's going to use it as a shoe buffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big cat. Um, Carol Robodeau from Manchester, New Hampshire. This is Dee Dee, a.k.a. Fathead. <laughs> Loves short walks on the couch and listening to Cat Stevens and anything with gravy. Um, that's really cute. That doesn't look like that head belongs to that body, does it? It looks like... Really, because that body is huge. 
and the, and the head is tiny. It's not so much a fat head, which they called it. It's, I mean, you could put any head on that, and I, I think that was some... Put another head on there. There. <laughs> One more head. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nikki Friels from Fairmont, West Virginia. This is Nathan Jr. He's four years old, 17 pounds. Um, and, uh, you, and you wonder why he destroys your furniture. But I bet when he's sitting on the TV, you get better reception. <laughs> okay, this is Terry from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Here's a picture of Tumbleweed, our cat, watching our squirrel wagon wheel. Look at that. It's not a fat cat, it's a fat squirrel. Look at the size of that squirrel. Can you see that squirrel? Yeah. He's, he's storing his nuts in his stomach right there. He's, uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, Tumbleweed and Wagon Wheel. That's what their names are. Things that roll. All right. <laughs> All right, that's it right there. Um, hey, when we come back, Cedric the Entertainer is going to be here. Don't go away, please. Now, I like that hat. You like that? I like that a lot. That's the uh, paper boy. They, the old mm -hmm. school boy rock to the side, you know, kind of. I like it. Get it hip and cool. I like it a lot. That's you a like new kind of hat for you to wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually wear the fedoras, mm -hmm. you know, or something straw, but it's summertime. I thought I'd flip it on them and, you know, do something hip and cool and different. I think I oh, like it. Oh, man, my eyes are What's the matter? What do you oh, need? Oh, man, I was just slapping. You crying? <laughs> you happy to be here? Yeah, I'm going to I just, you know, anytime I get on a talk show set, I just want to cry, you yeah. know, it's just like, it doesn't matter, it's just like, you know, Maury or anything, you know, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> the story about the cat, you know, uh, God. oh, Lord. Hey, that's a nice watch you have on. Yeah, man, that's, that's a little a bling one. bling, that's, uh, my wife got me this as a gift. Oh, that's sweet. I got a good wife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's why I married her. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice, good gifts. You knew she'd give you some good gifts. Um, now, I cannot believe we've never met. I know. How that's, come? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, we were running in, uh, we are probably doing the same different circuit. You mm -hmm. were headlining and uh, mm -hmm. doing big shows. And the same was, time? Yeah. When did, where did you start? New York? I started in St. Louis. Oh. The Funny Bones. You ever you did the it. Funny Bones? Yeah, yeah I've done St. Louis, Louis. Man, that's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And started doing that. Then did the clubs and uh, the tours. And then along came the Deaf Comedy Jams. And, mm -hmm. and I started doing those kind of things. And then Kings of Comedy, the original. I know. I, that's a good movie. I, I loved it. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. The original. That was fun. The whole... That was fun. We had fun. We had fun doing that tour. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there, I was listening to you talk about the, uh, in your monologue about, you know, the cats surrounding the house. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a pet person, but my son, uh, he's three, and we've, we've got fish. Uh -huh. And we got all fish and a frog. Uh -huh. And the frog's been eating the fish. <laughs> yeah. The frog is in the tank, it swims, it's that kind yeah, of frog? Yeah, it's that kind of frog, but he started out that kind of frog. Now he stands up outside of the fish tank, you know, <laughs> sings the chili baby back rib song. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue <Yeah>. sauce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How big is a frog? He's like this. He's like yeah. shack size. He yeah. scared me the other day. No. He's a little, he was a little bitty swim frog, you know, at what first. Color? But he's like a, like a brownish kind of green. He's chameleon. a bully frog. Yeah, bully frog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's tough too, and he's he, like beating up all the fish. And and so is is he? What kind of fish is he eating? Like goldfish? Yeah, some goldfish, uh, an Oscar. He's eating it. Took him a an while. Oscar yeah, fish? yeah, it was a buffet for him. He ate that. <laughs> <laughs> it took him a while. He snacked on that one for a while. Yeah. Well, first of all, frogs do eat fish. Did you know that when I you did, put them together? No, we did not know oh, that. Okay. You know, yeah. I'm not, like I say, yeah. I'm, I'm not much of a pet person yeah, really. at all. So okay. you know, I, let me just yeah. mention this to you: if you get a cat and a bird, don't put them together either. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work either. Well, I've seen that with the Sylvester Tweedy thing, oh, you well, know, yeah. cartoons. We learned totally, from cartoons, you know. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, 
I'm with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so you, I was mentioning the entertainer thing. Uh, how did you get that phrase? And have you uh, always just been an entertainer? Did you do stuff before? Well, you know, I, I did. I sang in groups and stuff before I started doing comedy, and I would, you know, I, I'd sing. And now a lot of my first material was like me doing versions of people singing and stuff like that. You know, John Davison doing Johnny Gill's song or something like that. So. And uh, I'd like so to hear that's that. how it started. <laughs> Put on your red dress. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and your high heels. <laughs> Some of that sweet perfume. <laughs> I do Luther doing the alphabets, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, <laughs> G. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Me too. that's why I said that's really where the weight problem started. You know, uh -huh. in the fourth grade, he would do the alphabets, and then kids would offer him stuff out of his lunchbox. You uh -huh. know. <laughs> <laughs> do you want something? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you ended up. You, so that's how you got the entertainer thing because you were doing so many different things. Yeah, you know, when I first started, I got I, I was really popular in St. Louis, and then I couldn't. Um, I'm just. I'm sorry. It's just Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I was popular, you know, in the clubs, and but I didn't have a lot of time, so people would hire me to do shows, and they would introduce me as a comedian, but I only had, like, seven minutes worth of material, so I would sing a song or do a poem or something, so I just got to the point where I didn't like to be called just a comedian. I was mm -hmm. like, call me an entertainer, and mm -hmm. so... That's how the name came about, more, mm -hmm. than, more than, you know, I just think it one day I'll have my name up in lights and I'll uh -huh. be the entertainer. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it worked out, but it was cool. No, it is. It did, it, it did work out. And now, are you going to keep it or is it something that you're going to drop and just be Cedric? Or I don't know. I may, you know, I may go with like O'Malley or something like that. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> you, know? you can do it with that hat. <laughs> yeah. Is that a dig at the yeah. hat? You no, know, like I the like hat. the hat. I'm oh, serious. Okay. I do like it. All right, yeah, cool. but I'm just saying you could go with O'Malley yeah, with that hat. With hat. It That's work. all. Um, hey, we have to take a commercial. We'll be back in just a second. We're back with Cedric, the Entertainer. All right. It's fun. Did you have fun doing the movie? Yeah, I did. Uh, it's a fun movie. It's you know, it's about uh, you know, I get the family in the car. We travel from Los Angeles back to Missouri, and you know, it's supposed to be a simple little trip where you know we're kind of. Uh, disassociated with each other right now, and so I get them all in the car and thinking that's what's gonna make it okay, and everything goes wrong. So, oh no, it's fun, yeah. Uh, but does it all work Those out? Zany Johnson, yeah, everything oh, works good. out. It's a uh, movie, yeah. And you play two characters in it, yeah. I play, uh, I also play my Uncle Earl in do, there. Do a little I did. bit of that, that's uh, hilarious. Uncle Earl, he, uh, he's that uncle that you know, like, girl, look at you, Ooh, look at that, <laughs> and you know, that, that, that boy, that look, they all that look good together. Well, I like that. Too, too, too. <laughs> Cheap. Yeah, you can't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea what he's saying, but he means it. He's so sincere about it. Like, yeah, the cute little boy. If you don't look like who, you look just like your mom when your mom you look like that. <laughs> what? I love that. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, all right, and so and now, and you have a new a little baby, don't you? Yes, I have a four month. Old Wait, how daughter. many kids do you have? I have both? three kids uh -huh. all together. At fourteen, uh, and then three year old son, and then now a four month old little daughter, Lucky. She's uh, cute and and uh, just cute as she want to be, yeah. you know, and just you know, just taking over though. She's all in the bed now, and I, I don't get any. I can't get next to my wife at all anymore. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> And now my son, my son calls her Baby Lion. Everything is based on the Lion King around the house. I'm, uh -huh. I'm Mustafa, he's Simba, uh -huh. she's Baby Lion. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> is he happy with her, though, having a little sister? Yeah, oh, he loves her to death. You know what I mean? But, you know, three, he doesn't have his motor skills quite down, so, uh -huh. you know, he's loving, but it's a little rough for yeah. us as parents. Grabbing like, the hair. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh she's so cute. Uh, uh, <laughs> all, right, uh, yeah. all right, that's enough. That's enough. All right. I'm surprised that frog has lived this long. <laughs> right. uh. Yeah. I think he likes the frog. I think they're uh. sharing the fish. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> oh I hope not. No, I hope no. not. All right. Well, it's good to have you here, and it's your birthday uh, yeah. coming up. You're going to be 40. I'm 40. turning the big 4 0. Man. That's very so, exciting. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have big plans? Yeah, big party. My wife, we're going to do a big party somewhere around the city. It's going to be a big celebration. All Have right. a good time. All Come right. through. Yeah. <laughs> Come through? Fall through. Oh. 
the party. Okay. Yeah. That's a. Uh, Do you want me to be there? What yeah, is it? Okay. exactly. That's what that is. All right. Uh, <laughs> The Johnson Family Vacation is playing in theaters everywhere. Everybody in the audience is getting a copy of a DVD of Barbershop. Uh, very funny. Don't go away. We'll be playing my new favorite game when we come back. And now it's time to play a little game we like to call Pardon Me. Are these your sunglasses? in my spare time, I've studied the human face and I've learned two things, but those aren't important now. I've also learned <laughs> what sunglasses would look best on a person. Now, uh, I've never met these four people before and I've never met these four sunglasses before, but now I will use my powers to match the sunglasses to their owners. I have three rounds to figure it out. With each round, I have less time to make a match. It sounds easy, but is it? Okay, um, uh, Michelle and Lisa and Adriana and Kim are your names. Okay, and you all uh, understand that uh, there's no looking directly at the sun. <laughs> right? right? Right. So, and, and how long have you all, how long have you owned your sunglasses? For about a year. A year you've had yours? Six months. Six months? Ten months. Ten months? Five years. Five years? Have you ever had other sunglasses? <laughs> you have. You've never lost these, though? No. Do you have a chain usually attached to them? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, can I have 30 seconds on the clock, please? If I'm correct, anyone. All right. Wish me luck. Can I have 20 seconds on the clock? these other glasses, I see other ones that are better for you. <laughs> Let me just, you've had yours for five years, right? <laughs> Let me just see these. Just try these on, please. Much better. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for playing. And all of you win a beautiful Alini watch just for being here and letting me put these. That's how you play Pardon Me. Are these your sunglasses? Tune in next week for Pardon Me. Are these your pants? And Hathaway joins me after this. They're fun. Aren't they fun? I think so. See? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> We're all moving in together. Oh, can, can I visit? Yes, you can. Good. You can good. live here if you'd like. Ooh, that's yeah. quite an offer. Because yeah, there's no, yes it is, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you won't get that from other talk shows. I can tell you, I haven't yet. Yeah, not yet. All right, so is it Anne or Annie? Because the other night when I met you, I thought you said Annie, but is it? Yeah, everybody calls me Annie. I mean, Anne is on the, the birth certificate. Uh -huh. But by the way, can I just say what a pleasure it is to be here? Oh, thank you. Because I've been, I, really, like, thank you. I've been uh, a huge fan since I was about 10 years old. Oh, I thank used, you very much. I used to watch you on Comedy Central all the time. And... When you were 10 years old, you watched me? Yeah. You got my comedy at 10 years old? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, and then when I started to do physical comedy and preparing for Princess Diaries, you were a big inspiration. Really? Yeah, just sort of like the... 
you know, stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm known for that. Exactly. I meant that as a compliment. Please yeah. believe me. <laughs> I, and I take it as one. Oh, good. So I'm Ellen gonna... the Amuser, you know that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. All right, so, um, so it's Annie. Yes. All right, Annie. Nice to uh, have you here. I'm glad that you're happy to be here. Thank you. Yes, and, uh, and I'm thrilled that, that you've been watching me since you were 10. Mm -hmm. I feel very old. Um, <laughs> no, I actually don't feel old. I, 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 but I you look great. Yeah, oh, well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I keep this back here just to... Oh, uh, I need to try that. Yeah, it's once in a while you just take a little <laughs> hit of it. And There's like actually oxygen in here right now. <laughs> here, oh, smell thank you. it. Ooh, it it'll actually... Like, aren't you jealous? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there is oxygen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll take your... <laughs> I don't go around sniffing. Take your word for it. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so you just... Uh, <laughs> we were, <laughs> you what? what did you say? I don't even no, know. What you say? <laughs> I said I don't go around usually inhaling uh, pure oxygen, but uh -huh. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, no, it is. I, I, it was a, it's a long story. I was dancing <laughs> the other day, and, uh, and I needed it. But... <laughs> but I look great, and that's the important thing. Um, <laughs> So you just turned 21 the other day, yeah, recently? Well, when? November. November. Yes. And uh, so congratulations, 21. Thank you. What's, what's, uh, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, I liked it because being a teenager um, was kind of awful. I kind of, you know, when you're a teenager, there's always a sense that somehow it's, it will, because it, it will end eventually. So there's this kind of impending sense of doom attached to everything. Uh -huh. So when I turned 21, all of a sudden, the next thing that I could count on was that someday I would die. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what that was, and that made me really happy. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it's actually, I've mellowed out since turning 21. Yeah. Well, the drinking helps a lot, because um, <laughs> we all have oh, that yeah. doom. Yeah. <laughs> We hold that, that sense of doom until we, that, that, and then when the 21 comes around, we can drink. And then, because uh, the doom is still there. It doesn't go away. All right. Um, just, but, uh, well, so, so now you're, you're, you're mellow more? Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've kind of calmed down a little bit. Because it says here on the cover of Cosmo Girl, uh, Anne Hathaway, she's not that innocent. Uh, what have you done? Uh, well, I haven't gotten what married in Las Vegas or anything. No, but... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> She's not that innocent. I don't know. You're gonna have to ask the writer. Yeah. I think I'm pretty normal, so apparently that means yeah. I'm not that innocent. Well, it just it, you, they do stuff like that to get you to read the article. Uh, are you intrigued? Uh, yes. I just haven't had time to get to it. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I am good. I'll read it right now. Great. So anyway, everybody, I was walking down the street the other day. <laughs> now this is uh, this is another amazing thing that that I can't believe you you're in college. And you just finished, you're, you're doing movie after movie. How are you still in college? Um, well, I'm taking lots of breaks. The college is being really nice and letting me do that. And Where are you going? I go to Vassar College. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've completed a year and a half. I hope to get back next year to finish up the sophomore year. It's taken a really long time, uh -huh. but it's, uh, it's going really well. So you'll graduate when you're like 60? Basically, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> My parents are very proud. Yeah. <laughs> They should be proud of you. <laughs> All right, what's your major? What are you majoring in? Well, I'm obviously doing really well because I'm undeclared. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm going to be an English major, hopefully with a correlate in international politics. English major? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do You seem, I can understand everything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a thing for dead poets. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> and, uh, so, and, you're, and, you're, and then what, what do you want to do in politics? Oh, just, uh, well, it's kind of like uh, a minor, but we don't have minors. We have correlates. We're pretentious, so <laughs> correlates. A correlate, so and that it, that would be in international politics. I see, and and but you're going to still act, right? Are you going to? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. It's just um, I, I just I love learning and going to school, and uh, I mean I, I like I mean it sounds like an obvious thing to say, but I learned more in the past three semesters uh, than I, I ever knew really was out there before. So I figure, well, what else is there that I can figure out? Well, good for you to have that kind of uh, thirst for knowledge like that. Some people would just get into this acting and, and do nothing else. Well, I mean, like it, me. <laughs> um, You're doing okay. <laughs> Don't pull that. <laughs> I just try to absorb everything I can from the guests. I'll be <laughs> during the break asking you what all of that that you just said meant. Um, <laughs> we actually have to take a commercial. We'll be back in a second. We're back with Anne Hathaway. That's a clip from Ella Enchanted.
And so, uh, in the in the movie you play, uh, uh, you, you have to obey orders. That you're born yeah. with the. Uh, that clip makes more sense if you know that I have no choice uh, in in my actions. Basically, right. once Ella hears a command, she's under a fairy curse, so she has to do everything that she's told. Uh huh. And uh, and who do we had Vivica Fox on, and she mm -hmm. she plays. Uh, Lucinda, it, the fairy that she's kind of the demented fairy of the kingdom. Right. So yeah. <laughs> she gives, she thinks the gift of obedience is great. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> right. And did you have fun doing that? Oh, I had a great time yeah. working. We were in Ireland, and we just sort of and, and, and you know the twenty one thing didn't matter there. So <laughs> no, no, we had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We had a great time there. <laughs> um, and you sing in the movie too, right? Yes, I do. I, I, that wasn't, in, uh, I didn't plan on it, but after I got to Ireland, after they already had me, they asked me if I would, and so I said, yeah. Did they know that you sang? Uh, they did. I, I was kind of a competitive choir girl in high school. Yeah, so. what does that mean, competitive choir? Well, I was, <laughs> I was, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's it, you could have been too. Um, I was actually, uh, this is going to sound really dorky, but I was the number one ranked soprano one in New Jersey when I was in high school. Wow, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you were Annie the Entertainer. The, uh, see, there you go, uh -huh. falling in your footsteps. Uh -huh. I wish. <laughs> um, but uh, no, it, would, it, it was great. We got to sing, and then I joined a national choir, and we got to sing at Carnegie Hall. It was really fun. Wow. Well, will you sing for us right now? Um, Ella finds herself at a giant wedding and she sings this song that I think people know it's by Queen. So, um, okay. Can anybody find me somebody to? And then the giants come in with love. <laughs> Enchanted, it hits theaters this Friday. The big finish is next. Don't go away. That was really.